Hey there guys, this is Hacking for Dummies 101 here with a quick short tutorial about speeds and uTorrent. Okay, now the version of uTorrent I'm using currently is 2.0.2. .2. Now, okay, so this is going to be a tutorial to teach you how to speed up your downloads. So you're going to want to go to Options, Preferences. Okay, now you're going to, you can skip General, UI Settings, and Directory, but you're, first you want to start off connect on Connection. Okay, so what you're going to do is, for the port, you're going to type in 45682. And then you're going to uncheck enable UPnP port mapping and you're going to uncheck randomize port each start but you want to have these two checked enable NATPMP port mapping and if you have version 2.02 .02, this box will be here and it will say add windows firewall exception which you'll want to put proxy server you don't need to mess with that just leave it alone next you're going to go to bandwidth okay now you're going to keep this relatively low number it doesn't have to be 10 but it can be it's just so you're not uploading more than you download when you want to download faster if you're not worried about downloading so fast you can change that number higher but then again why would you be watching this video secondly download rate limiting with this you're going to put it to zero because zero means unlimited here okay so now you're going to go to number connections now these are the magic numbers for some people this helps out them tremendously so for global maximum number of connections you want to go to 2329 maximum number of connected peers per torrent you want to go to 1890 number of upload slots per torrent you're going to put that to 14 and you're going to check this box that says use additional upload slots if upload speed is greater than 90%. Okay, next you're going to go to BitTorrent. Now, you're going to want to check enable DHT network. You want to check enable DHT for new torrents. Check enable p local peer discovery. Check enable bandwidth management. Check ask tracker for scrape information. Enable peer exchange. But you want to leave limit local peer bandwidth unchecked. Okay, IP host name. You're not going to want to mess with that. Protocol encryption, what you're going to want to do is you want to put that to enabled and allow incoming legacy connections should be checked. Transfer cap, cap, you're not going to want to mess with this unless you have a limited bandwidth and I'm not going to go into that right now because I don't. If you do, leave me a comment saying you need help with it and I'll make a video about it. Go on to queuing. Alright, so queue settings. Maximum uh, number of active torrents, you want to put that to around 60, plus or minus, it doesn't matter, but it should be around 60. Maximum number of active downloads, put that around 60 again, I just picked 63. Everything else should be set already, 100%, 100% seating. Okay, next you're going to want to go to advanced. Now, first thing you want to do is, you're going to want to go to BT allow CMIP, this will be set as false. You're going to want to put as true, and then you're going to apply. Okay. Next, you want to go down to DHT rate. That's going to be set. You want to be set that to 2, push set, and then go to the next one. And the next one we're going to go to, and this is the last one, will be RSS update interval. And then you want to set that to 20, push set, push OK, and then you are done with all the settings. So pretty much I've taught you how to tweak the settings on uTorn to make you go speeds faster. Now with this, with these preferences tweaked, before this, I started off around like 40 to 50 kilobytes a second. Now that's that's okay speeds, but it's pretty slow. And after I tweaked these settings, I topped off the speeds of around 200 to 250 kbs kilobytes per second. Now that's a pretty good um, increase. That's about 400% increase, actually more, because it goes sometimes goes above 200. But anyways, if you need any help with this, uh, please leave me a comment below. As for now, please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.